What you guys got another video here for you now in this one we're going to be taking a look at how secure is windows 8 we get asked this question a lot is how secure is windows 8 uh, is it faster than windows uh, 7 is it more secure than windows 7 does it block more viruses than windows 7 all these questions so i thought i'd make a quick video just to show you um, uh, the findings of windows 8 i think it's more secure i think it's faster than windows 7 um, but also I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's um, you know, more secure in the sense that uh, it's going to block everything that you throw at it. Uh, it is more secure than Windows 7, I think, but um, due to the fact that if you install the right software. Now, on here comes Windows Defender, which is Microsoft Security Essentials. Now, we're going to be testing it with uh, Windows Defender. They've had a bad rap over the years, uh, Microsoft Security Essentials, and uh, they haven't been detecting much on the system. So what we're going to do here is give it a little go inside Windows 8. It's a big difference uh, compared to Windows 7. So we've updated all that. We're going to be using Internet Explorer. Now I know a lot of people don't use Internet Explorer, but most of the people on this planet that have a computer do use Internet Explorer. It's the most used browser. And uh, as you can see here, we're using uh, stock settings. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary here. Everything's uh, default. So that's what we're going to be using. We're going to put some links in and see how it blocks them. Now we've got no antivirus program on here. You can see Malwarebytes, but it's not Malwarebytes Pro. Now if it was me using Windows 8, I would use uh, something like Avast and Malwarebytes Pro uh, and Komodo Firewall, something like that. Um, but we're just going to run it straight off the, uh, as it is, as a fresh install here. Okay, so let's get started here. So everything's updated, Windows is all updated. We've got a, a fully functional system here, no viruses on a board at all. So I'm just gonna quickly open up some links here. These are all fresh uh, links, okay? These are all, what I mean by fresh is basically, they're new, they're not old. And we're just gonna open this up and we're gonna run it. And straight away, as you can see, smart screen filter has blocked that from running or going onto your system. Okay, let's get another one. We'll try this one. And uh, I'm just going to paste this inside here as well. And then we're going to run that. And Smart Screen has blocked that. It's trying to run here, as you can see. Uh, so I'm just going to say yes. Uh, so basically, uh, I think it has been blocked, but we can always check that a little bit later on. But it says it's been blocked here, unsafe. Uh, by the uh, smart screen so let's get the uh, next one here and do another scan of this file again remember this is just minimal uh, security straight as you installed it nothing else added and that was blocked by smart screen as you can see here again another one blocked unknown publisher so you don't want to run this at all so you go don't run let's have a look at something else here and we'll try and install this one uh, page cannot be displayed okay I will try another one here and I'm going to go through these 10 links first just to make sure and we'll run this it's and uh, it couldn't be downloaded I'm going to retry that nope that couldn't be re uh, downloaded so that's probably a dead link and uh, we'll try another one here and and that's been detected by Windows Defender up the top as you can see here and also if I try to run it it's now been blocked like so we're going to cancel that and uh, malware has been detected on the system so they're working together now remember guys this is nothing on here at all no avast nothing like that and uh, i think it's done pretty well so far so we're just going to run that again uh, malware detected and we'll try and run it and it's then been blocked by smart screen also let's uh, try the next one
and uh, we're going to run this. It got blocked, but then it tries to run, and then it says the system doesn't have minimum uh, doesn't have minimum requirements. So basically, you couldn't get me words out there. Basically, that's been stopped um, by smart screen, and I just don't think it's going to allow it to run, which is good. Okay, so let's do the next one. Let's try and run that. And uh, we'll run. And it has been blocked by Smart Screen again. As you can see here, unknown publisher, do not run. Now, again, this does come down to uh, the user himself or herself. If they do click run, it will run. And you must remember that. That's why I always say run in a limited account. Um, we've had this discussion before, me and a few other techs uh, about it, but it's going to come down to a lot of common sense by the user themselves, you know. So let's do this last link here. I'm sorry if this is a, a bit boring to some people, but I just needed to make this video to clarify. I'm going to run this again. I think that's been blocked, and this will not run as you can see here. Okay, so that's now all our 10 link links done and uh, it blocks every single one of them. Now, some of these could have slipped through, but we'll give that a check afterwards. Now, there's one more thing I wanted to do is I've got a, a, a folder which I'm going to create on my desktop here and call this virus. And uh, I've got some archive of viruses here which are all fresh off the press. And uh, we're just going to open that up and uh, what I'm going to do here is drag these into that folder or extract them into there I could do that probably be uh, easier so I'm just going to extract uh, extract those into there like so and now it's probably going to start going crazy and start detecting malware it's already started uh, detecting that malware it's getting picked up by a uh, Windows Defender Okay, so inside that folder, and it's going mad now. So inside there, let me just uh, have a look here again. It's starting to detect these. Okay, you can see it detecting stuff now. Um, inside here, we can highlight this to find out how many files there was inside there and you can see there's 55 objects here inside that folder and it's now starting to detect these automatically as it's trying to put them into that folder so once that's finished uh, its detection rate here it will we'll do a scan with that program as well to see uh, what it's done so you can see at the moment it's got 37 items in here but it's still detecting stuff so it will remove these as it's detecting them um, but we'll run a scan in a second we've not clicked on any of these yet we've just dragged them onto the system and uh, what I'm going to do here is go to control panel and I'm going to go into Windows Defender here okay so we want to do a full scan here as well we we want to make sure we do a full scan and I'm just gonna quickly do that now that will take some time so I'll let that do its scan and we'll come back and have a look inside that folder and see how many is left and see what it's actually detected it's actually still detecting them as you can hear and probably quarantining or deleting those files okay so we'll let that finish off and we'll come back when the scan is done. 
Now, as the scan is um, running now, you can see it's now starting to detect a potentially harmful software as well. We're getting the pop-up box down here, and uh, the PC status is now at risk, so it's now changed, okay? And uh, this will, um, it's got two total messages, one important message, but we'll look at these at the end and uh, it's probably just some of the stuff that's in this folder and we'll delete it okay okay so that's the actual scan complete here as you can see and uh, what I want to do first is just quickly clean up this PC so we can see the details here and you can see the stuff it's found so I'm going to remove that And all in all, I think it's done pretty well. And I think um, Microsoft have upped their game a bit on the Windows 8 version of uh, Windows Defender. It's done a pretty good job. And also, we've got to remember this is just uh, Windows Defender and um, Internet Explorer, which is detected, it stopped all 10 links. So it's done a pretty good job without a, a real true antivirus, as, as I would say and a firewall and a Malwarebytes Pro you could also install which would then make it even more secure so we can now close that one and show details here you can see the details for the file it's found and where it was located which was in that folder so let me uh, before we do that have a quick look inside this uh, folder here. I think I've got one open here. So you can see there's 20 items inside here now and we'll reboot the system in a second. So out of 55 we've got 20 items left which is more than half it's detected okay and we still haven't run any of these so if we started to run these it may even detect them uh, but let's reboot the system first before we do that. So I'm going to quickly restart Okay, let's go on to the desktop here. Okay, so here we are back at the desktop and uh, we'll go into our folder here. Now again, as I said, we could click on these to see if they would uh, detect them. I'm not going to spend too much time clicking on all these. I don't want to go through a massive removal process video. Uh, already the video is getting long so let's have a look at to see whether this blocks it it's a Google update or Chrome update, uh, update I should say let's let that one install let's try this one And we'll try this one. I'm only going to do a couple. Okay, as I'm clicking on these now, these are getting installed on the system, I think. There you go. This one wants to go out through the firewall. We're not going to allow that through. but basically you get the idea there so as you can see any Windows operating system is not uh, safe from viruses it's detected some of those ones I've clicked on there you can see um, but nothing is gonna stop you from getting infected no operating system is that um, good at protecting you 100% so what we'll do here now is quickly run Malwarebytes to see what was left on the system and see if anything got installed we'll quickly update and I'll do a quick scan I'm gonna do a quick scan here okay that's the scan now complete and you can see we found eight results here inside the roaming area And also 
we've got some other areas here that's been installed and that's the stuff we've probably just installed to be fair and we've got some pops here and we can remove those like so wants to restart I'm not going to do that just yet now also this just left 19 items on here on the system you can quickly scan those with Malwarebytes see if it did detect them or not so it missed that folder out and uh, it's found 18 of them and as you can see by having Malwarebytes or Malwarebytes Pro I would su uh, suggest on your system we're going to remove those from there and left one virus as you can see here um, so as you can see one virus left which isn't too bad really if you'd have had that combination of um, Windows Defender or Malwarebytes Pro or Avast and, and Malwarebytes Pro or something like that you would have been protected and you wouldn't have been infected by all of those viruses okay anyway so I think we're gonna call this one done I think it's been a great success for Windows 8 and also Windows Defender and even uh, Internet Explorer come to think about it you know so I hope that answers all your questions my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos then hit the like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos when I upload them so have a great weekend guys and I'll see you again in the next videos thanks again for watching thanks for your support bye for now